So finally, Venus has now entered the sign of Libra. And I see there's quite some uh, activities going on in Leo. And also the interesting thing is Mercury has entered the sign of exaltation, which is Virgo, of course. He entered quite some days before. And I see second from Venus, there is Ketu in Scorpio. And fourth from Venus, Saturn is placed. And fifth from Venus, there is Jupiter placed, all right? And of course, 11 from Venus, there's Sun, Moon, and Mars today. All right, so this is a very interesting uh, transit of Venus that's happening. And this will be there for the next 25 days, roughly. And during this, uh, by the end of this transit, Mercury will go retrograde, okay? And um, Mercury will also go and join Venus in Libra. So this is something which is very important. So let's discuss all these uh, conjunctions and placements. My eyes are on drikpanchang.com. And as usual, if you are new to the channel, then uh, please subscribe to it down below. And if you want a consultation from me, my website is also down below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him, irrespective of where is Venus transiting. All right, so Venus has just entered Libra. Libra is the Mool Tricone sign of Venus. So what is Mool Tricone sign? Mool Tricone sign represents that which a planet is, uh, that which a planet thinks he or she is supposed to do. Planet thinks, yeah, I should do this, right? Mm, uh, and exaltation is like uh, what the planet actually needs to do, right? So, Mool means what the planet thinks he should do. And exaltation means what the planet actually should end up doing to get the highest level of happiness. So, uh, typically, if you talk of Venus, uh, Libra is the Mool sign. So, what... What does uh, Venus want to do? Venus wants all of Libra, basically, right? Uh, now you may say, but Venus also lords Taurus, right? Well, he lords Taurus, but Taurus is not the multicorn sign. So primarily Venus wants traits of Libra. In fact, he is primarily Libra, then Taurus. So what's the difference between uh, Taurus and Libra? Taurus represents all the dead things related to Venus, okay? Dead in the sense, uh, not uh, animals or not humans. Uh, the bull is signified by Taurus. But in general, anything which represents luxury, which you put on yourself, which you do for yourself, it's you only. Okay, That is what is Taurus. Like fine drinks, fine clothing, perfumes, makeup, decoration, arts. All these things are under the sign of Taurus. Okay. But then what's Libra? Libra is very interesting. Uh, Libra says that, uh, Libra, imagine Libra and Taurus are talking. Okay, So Taurus says, hey, I have everything and I'm very happy. But then uh, after a certain point of time, you feel bored and you feel that uh, I wish there was somebody else with whom I could share these and also enjoy what they are enjoying, right? So that's exactly what is Libra. So Libra shows that desire to uh, express love and uh, give love and receive love. That's what Libra is in short, right? I give up uh, a part of me and I take a part of you and you give a part of you and you take a part of me. That's what is Libra, okay? So Venus gets bored and he becomes unhappy eventually in Taurus. And that is why he looks around for traits like Libra where he can share his own uh, luxury and resources with somebody else, okay? So this can be business partnerships or even very good friends or with uh, romantic partners or primarily with your spouse, right? Uh, married uh, partners. So therefore, uh, whenever Venus transits Libra, uh, it's a very uh, unique time because uh, when Venus transits Libra, you got to understand that you will start getting this feeling that whatever I did was only for myself, but that was not very fulfilling, right? 
Also because Venus has crossed Virgo and he has entered Libra now. Okay. So what's Virgo? Virgo is that um, sign where Venus gets debilitated. We all know. But why Virgo? Because in Taurus, Venus thinks of only himself. But in Virgo, Venus only is obsessed. It's like self-obsessed, right? So Taurus is like, okay, I'm enjoying this, I'm enjoying that. I'm having nice food, nice clothes. But then Virgo is like, why should anybody else have? Only I should have, right? So imagine everybody starts thinking like this. Then that's a big problem, right? Serious crisis. So, <clears throat> uh, But Libra is not like that. Libra says, uh, no, you are happy with all these luxuries. But then now it's time for you to go to the next level. Be happier with somebody else, okay? So then that person gets happiness and you also end up getting happiness, uh, hopefully. Uh, but then uh, there is the sign of exaltation, which is Pisces, right? So as I said, Libra is what Venus thinks he should be and Pisces is who he should be actually, right? So Pisces is a sign of freedom, selflessness, spiritual growth, enlightenment, letting go of things, which, which actually ends up making Venus very happy there, okay? Because then... Um, there is freedom to love, right? So if, uh, if if you love someone, then you must give that person the freedom to love or not love you back, right? Uh, because if you force somebody to love you, then that's not love. That's like infatuation, that's attachment, that's desire, right? From your side. So therefore, whichever houses Venus rules in your chart, you might get this feeling that... Um, uh, yeah, you know, uh, what should I do? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> it's exactly uh, something similar because uh, when Venus enters Libra, uh, sometimes people are very full of themselves, okay? Full of themselves in the sense of, for example, if you're Capricorn like man, Venus is your 10th Lord. So uh, within the workplace, you could be very much full of yourself. Oh no, either this way or highway, my way or highway or no way basically. So then when, because Venus has crossed Virgo and he has now entered Libra, but he has just entered, you see. So when you enter newly, then you start discovering the traits of the house and you start tuning into the energy of Libra, right? Uh, but that doesn't mean that they need, the past hangovers have left you, okay? So this is a very unique energy, uh, which means you should try your best to share whatever you have. Why do I say sharing? Uh, now you may say, oh, but, but every year Venus enters Libra, right? Uh, you know, hopefully. And then uh, every year the same thing ends up happening. Is it? Is it so? Well, uh, that's true. But there are transits of other planets which also mold the, this particular behavior. Okay. Uh, but uh, this time uh, it's relatively more challenging to uh, be exploring the Libra traits. Why? Because um, if you see, uh, Sun is still in 19 degrees of Leo, right? So Sun will be staying for another 10 days. So Leo and Libra, these two are very contradictory. Because Leo says that, yes, I am the king, I am the boss, everything I decide, right? And similar is Virgo sometimes. Virgo says, yeah, I may not be the king, but I am the king of my jungle right or my territory at least i i have some kind of control and obsession virgo is the sign of obsession okay um so therefore um this this the first 10 days of this transit may not be very easy for us to go into the libra traits but then gradually after 15th uh at least the leo energy will start reducing and then mercury will also join uh, Venus in Libra. Okay, so then this is a this this should be a, a comparatively this should be a better time after ten days. And most importantly, if you look uh, here, then you will see uh, Jupiter is in zero degree of Aquarius. Okay, so Jupiter is also retrograde. So therefore, uh, in the beginning, it can give us this feeling that. Um, so whenever Jupiter aspects a particular house or a sign or a planet, then things get activated suddenly. Okay, it's like activation from nowhere. So therefore, when Venus is getting the aspect of Jupiter, it's like 
reinstantiating the values of Aquarius, where Jupiter is, you know, which is like uh, applying principles as per time, place, circumstances, and uh, applying uh, applying things as per requirement of the society. No, uh, at the same time, not changing the essence and the principles. Okay, so therefore, uh, uh, Venus and uh, Jupiter are in trines to each other in the beginning days, and this uh, this will actually uh, give us the motivation. But then there is this challenge because of uh, you know Mars, uh, Sun, Mars being in Leo. But yeah, Mars is also going to go into Virgo, and Sun will stay there. So Virgo and Leo can have very similar energy sometimes. Uh, so therefore, the first 10 days, as I said, uh, can be a bit challenging, but then gradually the things uh, should ease out a bit, okay? And uh, Saturn is in Kendra to Venus, which means uh, when we really want to feel happy within, uh, by being in Libra, it's not going to be a cakewalk, okay? We might have to make certain sacrifices, which is but natural. Because uh, Libra is the sign of negotiation and the Lord, uh, the the planet which gets exalted in Libra, which is Saturn, is in own sign Capricorn. Okay, And from Capricorn, Venus is getting the aspect of Saturn because wherever Saturn sits, he aspects the 10th house from there. So therefore, uh, you need to understand that this Caring can involve making a lot of sacrifices. On the other one, one side, you know, Moon, Mars, Sun, Moon, Mars, they are telling us don't share, don't share, don't share. And on the other hand, Saturn is telling, see, if you share, actually you need to share because Venus is in Libra. But then uh, Saturn is telling that, okay, if you share, you have to make these sacrifices, you have to be ready to pay the price, okay? And that's going to come only by hard work. But this is where the beauty of Venus comes out because. Um, the best negotiation that anybody can get, a best negotiation is when both the parties leave the table with some level of dissatisfaction. Some pin should be there when you are doing negotiation for both the parties. Okay, If one party is very happy, another party is very sad, then that was a bad negotiation. And if both the parties are very happy, then that means there's something, uh, as they say in Hindi, dal mein kuch kala hai. <laughs> But if both the parties leave with some dissatisfaction, now then uh, they say the negotiation is perfect because both the parties have agreed on certain things have, and have uh, given up certain things okay, for a larger purpose. So therefore, check which house is Venus rules in your chart. Uh, and depending on that, you will be able to analyze uh, what is going on and which other things you will need to compromise, which are things you will need to adjust, which are things you will need to share. And how much uh, do you need to share? How much do you need to compromise? So all of these depends on your dashas and your transits, okay? And of course, your overall chart. So in your chart, if the Libra energy is very prominent, then uh, for you, this time will be a bit easier. But if Leo Virgo is more prominent in your chart, then this time can be a bit challenging this month, all right? So if you have Leo Virgo prominent, uh, prominent means if, you have, means if you have prominent planets like Sun, Moon or Ascendant Lord in Leo or Virgo, then this can be uh, a month where you want to exercise too much control, but then you are not able to, okay? So therefore, uh, and if you have the air signs more prominent like Gemini, um, Aquarius, Libra, then this will ease out a bit for you, all right? So uh, sharing is caring, of course, but uh, know how much to share with whom to and when to and when to stop also all right thank you very much uh, wish you all the best for this new month of september uh, and if you are new to the channel please subscribe to down below and if you want a consultation then you can go to my website which is also down below what is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him